Hello folks, welcome to the final Astroneer snail video, as we hunt the seventh snail on Aatrox and finish off this snail mission chain to see what reward we get. A stick around too to see how you can easily get to the centre of the planet using nothing but snails. And we're continuing directly on from the last video where we just got our Glacio digging snail. So I fed my oxygen and damage immunity snails, and so I do have infinite air and armour for well, about 10 minutes. And so we need to find our Aatrox snails now, which are on the compass, uh, displayed by the little brown snail icons, uh, which is good. Looks like if I go over in this direction... Oh, hello. It's... Oh, it's you! Ooh! Okay, this is going to be... um. This might be a bit of a toughie. Right. Oh, that's actually quite straightforward then. Plus... Oh, more mutant seeds! Bloody hell! Okay, I'll take, th I'll take that back. It's only the mutant one, but I so you don't necessarily need to feed your. I mean, when, when I'm in my garden back on base, I mean, you don't necessarily need to have mutant ones, but they are better because they are harmless. But let's put that there. Uh oh, ooh! <laughs> I don't really want to fall down into a pit. Let's try over here. Well, plenty are around. Oh god, a lot of them are down on... Hmm. I don't know, I think they're not in the chasm. I think they're on the other side of the chasm. Yeah, here we go, look. It's big flower up there. Again. Be careful. Careful. Although, I shouldn't be able to take any damage, should I, from it? Because I've got my lad. Nice. Not going to bother with taking any of these seeds. There is some research there, but we won't have room on our shuttle for that. There's a couple over here, so this should be easy. Ow! Ow! Did I not have my lad working for me? Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, you can hear the oxygen coming back. So the oxygen snail was fed. I just mustn't have fed the damaged snail. And because they must have like um, become asynchronous when it comes to feeding them. Um, so I just must have not done it. Oh well, never mind. Lesson learnt. It is quite hard to tell when your snails are active or not. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't. Huh. Oops. Well, I've got to be care a bit more careful than I have been then. About feeding these things. On the upside, we now have... Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, you were the wrong one. Right, there. That's There's a snail. It's more like it. And a couple more over here, and that should do us. These ones also got compound to give us, if we so desired. Two snails! And we've sorted it. Just mo this one's more about just running the gauntlet of all the, the killer plants, rather than having to worry about things like dynamite. Okay, so we'll need to just get our landing pad out for the lads. I think once we've done this, we'll have, um, I'll have put a landing pad on every planet, at least temporarily. There we go. In fact, there's the mission now, updated. Right, good. Now we can get our terrarium as last time. There. And fill it full of... Let's have a look at our mission log. Um, <laughs> the compass is in the way a little bit. Uh, we need soil, helium, and spine lily. So we will now need to set up our... Look, compass, piss off. Thank you. <laughs> we will need to set up our atmospheric condenser again. No, I don't have any more um, carbon to operate the medium jenny. I forgot to switch the damn thing off, so... And we have to run the atmospheric condenser off one generator at the moment. So we'll need helium. We don't have very much of it, so this is the only place we can get it. So that's going to take forever. In the meantime, we can be testing out our um, new snail, lad. And if we just find a seed, hopefully there'll be um, some non... Oh, we'll have to be a... After you we said. We'll have to be a mutant one. Right. So, my terrain tool should now be a bit better. It is bigger, isn't it? Definitely, um... Yeah. And presumably it can now dig to the... Um, down through harder rock. Possibly even Aatrox. Um, central. Um, Centre of the planet type rock, but that's probably a bit too far for us to go right now. So I might have to make some more jennies. I mean, what I'll also do is put on my QT RTGs, which will speed things up a little bit. These these buggers require 20 units of power, and we're currently providing it with, like, what, three? <laughs> oh no, four, because the small generator provides two. So that's very slow going. 
But I don't know how many we'll need, it might only be one. But in the meantime, we can also be finding the spine lilies for for you. Again, look at the mission log. Spine lily. Spine lily. Now which one's a spine lilies? That's a tacus. Oh god. That's an attackers. Oh, there's a spine lily. Oh, it blew itself up. <laughs> right. So this is the correct seed. Ugly little bugger. And we also need some soil, which I've already got. So we're two thirds of the way there. Just need to wait for the helium. Which is going quite nicely. Right. I'm going to see if we can do it with just one. If not, I'll have to probably set up a whole uh, thing to make carbon to speed things up. Um, yep, you only need one. But it'll eat as many as it's got, um, which is a pain. Spine lily and soil. Right. Come back. There we go. Right. Let's just finish that off. Oop, no, that's tracking it. That's the rewards one. 250 quid. Uh, and now we need the on. And thankfully we don't have to go into any caves for this one. And I suspect this will be exactly the same as normal, so... Um, <laughs> I won't put you through all of this. But we'll do the first one. Yes, chicken dance. The only difficulty is some of them will be at the bottom of a chasm. Thankfully, with armour protection, snail activated, that's not an issue. It's just getting back up again, which might be a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, not only have I found my mate, but I've also found the zebra ball. Also, I just had to point out that with my newest snail activated. The terrain on Aatrox is not a problem at all. Really does do quite nicely, this thing. Is that all? Yeah, I think it is. Um, now where is it? And got you! And the horn, and the horn, and the horn. Gotcha. Right, back to the ship again. Ooh, blimey. <laughs> um, so, if, if I was um, doing this as a proper Let's Play, I would now make sure that i got plenty of helium to take back with me. But, I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just sort this out. Now this is the... Um, oh, no, there's no rewards yet to get. There's no rewards. We have to go back and verify everything. Oh, this is actually about to produce one more thing, so I'll let that run, and then I'll pack up and we'll go home. So when it comes to the farming part of this, it does seem that you all want to grow quite a few different things, um, just so you can have favourite foods of the various lads. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that too much. And what we'll do to finish things off is we'll we'll demonstrate... Well, we've, we've got to finish the quests. We've got to go and scan our lads. Um, these two here. Uh, and then then we're, we'll, we'll demonstrate the effect of the latest snail that we got, which should enhance my jumping ability and stuff like that, and then we'll quickly whip to the centre of this planet with all the snails turned on, um, and just see how good that is. So, finally, just do this. So that's six out of seven. I think that was the glassier one. Yes, I recognise the colouring. Verification. And... The Aatrox one. Right. All seven done. This is... I'm not quite sure what this will actually um, provoke. Um, if there's any... What more missions there will be, or whatever. There's not a huge amount left to do here, I don't think. All, t all, t ooh, all together now. Oh, this is new. Um, Sonic Array. What was that? Use data log to anyway. Slot all gastropods into Sonic Array. Oh. Okay. And then we get... A, oh, a lab suit. Oh, we get we get some clothes. Oh, this looks like a Sonic Array. Of some description. 
Maybe not. Hang on. Oh, up there. I see it. Um, mm. Right. We haven't we haven't got all of them with us at the moment. But I'll go and fetch the others. I'm hoping this doesn't destroy them somehow. <laughs> but I'm sure we're fine. Here we go. I'd just like to point out that I am actually suffocating at the moment. <laughs> um, that's not good. Um, hurry up, song. Hurry up, song. My astronaut's about to die. <laughs> He's not near enough the tethers. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Phew. I had zero oxygen there. Right, now what? Final entry. Use data logs to check the new entry. So there was one that was corrupt, wasn't there? Which was num entry number three, conclusions. I may be being hasty in my initial assessments. I can understand why exodynamics sought to integrate them into society rather than exterminate them. The temporal physical improvements they provide to their caretakers is an objectively beneficial increase. I have yet to quantify the more permanent positive effects they've had on my productivity and mood. I must admit I am glad for a temporary course diversion from Lubos Prime. I find myself strangely excited and anxious to expose the little ones to that planet. Um, it will inevitably change them. I can only hope for the better. Um, Nero will do no doubt laugh at me for this. Whatever he needs must be urgent. I can hear him calling me again. So we'll um, finish off by... I think that's everything now. Um, but we need to get the rewards. And um, we'll finish off by going to the centre of the planet. I just need to take some of my lads back. Not all of them. Um, we need the oxygen one. We need that one. And damage. And the power... Actually, we'll need the power one as well. There's a couple I'm not going to bother with. But all these lads I'm going to take with me to the centre of the earth. I'll also need some quartz to activate the engine. I think we've already activated a surface gateway on this place, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, and now I just need to claim some rewards. Over. Let's take that off there. This will give me an Inoki. Oh no, that's just... <laughs> that's just brought you back. Didn't mean to do that. Right, so that gives me some RTGs. I've also unlocked a lab suit. Oh, it's a proper RTG. It's not a QT one. Ooh, nice. And then these are the QTs over here. <laughs> All broken and everything. Uh, right, okay, so let's just quickly see what the suit looks like. Um, the lab suit, here it is. Huh, okay. Um, in purple, this looks very peculiar indeed. So let's first demonstrate that just the new snail in action before we set them all off. Um, so this is now with the lad fed. And yeah, already, I'm running around the landscape very fast indeed. And one of the other things this um, helps to do, apparently, is to remove the movement penalty for carrying heavy boxes. So let me just get something big, like you. Oh yeah, look at that! Look at that, look how fast I am. Normally this would be a bit slower, wouldn't it? Um, oh, I, 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 come back. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, put that there. Um, anything else we can do? Oh, the horn. No, no. Hang on, pick it up. Oh, you can, no, unfortunately you still can't actually carry this in your hands, but... Oh no, it's too heavy. This is just too heavy, unfortunately, so you, you can't cheat it that way, but... Smaller boxes, like medium-sized things, they're still fair game. And shuttles you can't move with at all. Oh, hello, what was that? <laughs> I've just dug something up. What was that? 
Oh, it's another landing pad. Why is that there? All you need to do now is prepare for going to the centre of the earth as quickly as possible using all the snails. And I'll need some quartz for this. Boop. And I don't, I don't need the horn. Um, all I need to do, I don't think I need the Q t two cuties. In fact, I don't even need one because I'll have this, uh, the power snail. But one, two, three, four, five. So the only snails I'm not taking, the illumination snail from Silver and the treasure hunting snail from Desilo. All the other ones are, well, they need to be fed now. Harvest. Do, do, do. I'm not going to take any backups. There, I am now tough as anything. So, centre of the earth we go. Now, watch me having forgotten something. Right, there we go. First level done. No damage taken. Second level done. The drilling is going very fast because of one of my snails. Third level. This is going to be very fast. This is way faster than doing the tractor method, which you'll have seen in previous videos if you watch that far back. Wow. Okay. Still full oxygen, of course. Ah, the Mushroom Kingdom. Go down here. Got some laterite, the all-important laterite. Got some more laterite. Thank God for that. Now we're actually at the stronger stuff. And I don't have my drill mod on. Yes, I do. Hang on, let's turn that off. And let's see if that actually makes a difference. Nope, it doesn't. So the snail still doing this proud? This may take a little bit more longer than I would have hoped. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hey, lads. Donk. And onwards. Hmm. We've come to the um, the middle of the earth, and now, finally, the snail is not proving to be so useful. Oh, hang on. There we go. We're at the final level. I am coming in very horizontally. So it shouldn't take any damage from you lads. And now we just need to get to the actual proper centre, uh, which is... Well, I just need to start digging, really. Follow the stuff. Follow the pink. Oh, uh, where have I gone? Oh dear. Goddamn confusing. Hang on. I don't think I'm at the right spot here. Right, where is the the actual proper ass prong? Have to keep on going, I think, down here. Maybe. Always very confusing this. Oh, this is the one. Perfect. Uh uh. Gravity. Gravity. Um <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Three sixty for style. There. Ooh. Right. Boop. Boop. Give us a thingy. And finally. Unlock the bugger. That was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> so so much easier. What's that? There's a thing up there. Oh, never mind. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that was dead easy, wasn't it? That took a, like a two minutes. Right, off we go. And teleport back to the surface, and we're done. Okay, so I think that demonstrates every single thing you ever needed to know about snails and their uses. They're rather cool. I don't know where I am anymore. I'm sure it's fine. Hang on. There, just straight ahead and back to base. Oh, the, a tether. Oh, good. Well, that's probably it for my astronaut videos. Uh, so thanks everyone who watched them, um, even one of them. <laughs> all very grateful, and I hope you enjoy them all. Uh, thanks, this has been Jamie and Randomized User. Um, where's, where, where's my base gone? Um, <laughs> oh, it's miles away. Uh, bye for now.